Hello and welcome to this week's analysis. Now we are going to be kicking things off with gold. Gold is looking super bullish right now. As you can see, last week I specifically said price was creating a low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, equal low. Until we create a new higher high, we are still probably going to break to the downside. But last week we got our new higher high. But did we miss out of the opportunity? Definitely not. If we go to the four hour time frame, if you remember, price was trading around here when I made last week's video and I specifically called your attention to the fact that I'm going to stall around here I'm going to put this zone around here so that I don't jump in too early and get my fingers burnt right and as you can see price played around for a little bit before eventually blasting above that zone and I said when price blasts above that zone we want to wait for a retest we want to go to a slower time frame to wait for a pullback into that zone before we take off with this level which is 2366.757 as our target if you doubt me let's revisit last week's video but how do we take advantage of this how do we prevent ourselves from jumping into this market quite early and getting our fingers burned? so i'm just going to put a tiny zone around here all right so for price to go bullish i would advise you to wait for price to create a new higher high breaking above this zone then you want to catch it on the pullback all right so whatever your confirmation is this is where you want to look for it your stop loss below then your target should be around this area which is one two thousand three hundred and sixty six point nine seven one area welcome back guys you can see that price played out perfectly and as a matter of fact price continued to the upside so now what do we expect going into next week i will delete this zone delete okay i'll leave this zone so going into next week guys price looks like it has broken out of this zone which looks pretty much valid but i am going to modify this zone i'm going to move this bottom all the way to the top here so that that way we can capture multiple regions as a matter of fact if you look further left this area is an area of strong resistance all right you don't want to ignore that fact and now price is trading within that zone now going into next week don't get me wrong i'm still I'm, my play will be to see price take out this zone come back for the retest i mean this zone is around the 2393 area so i'd like to see price push up to the upside with this level being my next target let me put a line there for easier identification so um 2440 is my next target should price continue bullish which is what i would like to see but there's another play that may take place next week we may see an initial pullback all right back into this level of structure here that has been tested multiple times here on the four hour time frame by the way so i like to see price pull back into these areas of structure here which is between the 2371 and 2366 before we continue trading to the upside all right so that's i'm bullish within this zone whether i'll break above or come back below to buy but to sell let me delete this zone right here so to sell guys that means price has to break below the 2366 area break below it come back for a retest then we'll now sell into this next target here which is 2033.2 all right let me put a line there 2000 three three two so that would be my sell scenario but above that zone i am buying why am i giving double scenarios this because if you go to a much higher time frame you will discover that we are in a range all right if we go to the daily time frame you discover that even though we are seeing some nice moves um using market structure on the bigger picture we are still kind of ranging technically right so that's why we need to look for buys and sell scenarios we need to think in probabilities so yeah You've seen my buying and my selling scenario. That will be that on gold. The next on my list is BTC. Now, BTC last week, price was, this was my thumbnail actually from last week. I said price is coming to 56,792. And as you can see, price actually blasted below that zone. And as you see, price is trading around that 56,792. So I'm just going to delete that. So I had this trend line last week and I was just actually expecting price to pull back into that trend line before selling off. If you doubt me, here is the video.
I'll go to the four hour time frame on this one. So on the four hour time frame, we can see a trend line that has been respected multiple times historically. So if we continue higher, that is where I am going to be looking for sales from and then continue downward into this our first target once again 56,792 welcome back guys so as you can see price actually manipulated a little bit above that zone but price eventually dropped so when i give my analysis like this all you need to do is to plot your chart in a way that supports the analysis that is if you follow my analysis correct so yeah price manipulated which happens all the time before dropping to the downside i mean if you are bearish minded if you know the direction you are trading in you will be able to always align yourself even if price does anything else all right as long as you have a bias you want to plot your levels in a way that aligns with your buyers but that's that price continued lower and i'm going to expect price to continue lower because last week i said if price takes out this zone then our next zone is this weekly demand level here all right so if price continues lower first of all i want to see price come into these demand zones so welcome back guys you can notice how you can notice that price is actually headed into that direction we now have a valid uh, double top and price is trading to the downside and uh, i would like to see price come into that demand level which is fifty one thousand double zero nine. now that's my bias on btc the next on my list is dxy now dxy guys if we go to the monthly time frame you already know what is happening on dxy since the year 2023 january since price dropped into this level we have been in a nasty choppy market because this is even worse than a range right we have been in a choppy market one single candlestick up another single candlestick down one single candlestick up another single candlestick down as a matter of fact if you look at the april candle april 2024 bullish may bearish june bullish we may see a bearish July too. Well, we are in this in these types of markets. We need to think in probabilities, right? We need to think in probabilities. On the weekly time frame, see the solid bearish engulfing candle with which we closed last week. So I'll be expecting price to continue lower going into next week. If I go to the daily time frame, um, actually last week I was expecting the price was going to tap into here and continue higher. That happened for a little bit, but we eventually fell off, and now the trend of the market has changed at least on this daily time frame this is a higher high this is a higher low this is a higher high this is a higher low this is a higher high this is a higher low this is a higher high now we have a new lower low that is changing market structure so even though we see any form of pullback in the early part of next week it's just a mini pullback but i'll still eventually want to see price drop to the downside remember what i do here are just weekly analysis not monthly analysis not yearly analysis but weekly analysis where i come on to tell you what i'm expecting for the incoming week and then the next week and then the following week after that so guys i'm talking about what i'm expecting next week right here before some people come to the dm and start saying um overall is this overall is that no i'm not doing the overall move i'm giving you my weekly bias all right so yep um we have a trend line here that has been taking out nice head and shoulders pattern break below the neckline retest new lower low so guys even though because now we've broken below this level of structure that has been tested multiple times right here so we've broken below it looks like we've gone for the retest and now we are pointing downward after this solid bearish engulfing candle guys i'll be expecting to see price at least come into this level of structure first on this four hour time frame which is 104.289 i'd like to see price come there but if we see an initial pullback then guys i would like to see that initial pullback come into 105.181 all right i am bearish for now so you see that we continue lower like this or we get an initial pullback like this before we sell off the only area i'm going to uh, i'm going to be bullish on dxy is until price moves all the way from where it is right now and break above this um 105.569 level until it breaks below it 
then i'll wait for a pullback because by the time this happens you know all the moves between here to that zone must have created a new higher high higher low higher high right you get the idea change of market structure but the bottom line is i'd like to see price break above this level come back for a retest before we continue trading higher that's the only time i'm going to start looking for buys but even if i see a pullback within this zone I am not interested in a bullish DXY yet until we break above this zone. So guys, I'm super bearish on DXY going into next week. Now that we've seen what is happening on DXY, let's take a look at Euro USD. Now Euro USD, remember last week I gave a bullish and a bearish scenario as usual. Um, price was trading around here and um, I was like, I was more bearish than bullish. However, 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 if we break above this level of structure here which is 1.07417 if we can break above it come back for a retest then i will be bullish on euro dollar right if you doubt me see for yourself before i decide that okay i want to buy i would like to see price take out this trend line and break above this zone then I'll wait for a pullback. I want to catch a trade from here. Stop loss below the trend line and below the zone. Then targets will be around 1.07932. Welcome back, guys. You can see price went with our bullish. As a matter of fact, the price just gapped up at market open, giving us this push to the upside. Now came back for a pullback and then we took off. Now, what do we expect going into next week? This is a tricky one. I will start from the weekly time frame, guys. I want you to observe something I really didn't um, call out in last week's video here. Price has rejected um, this lower trend line three times. All right. I rightly spotted this um, bullish engulfing candle last week and I said we could close super bullish for last week right and that was exactly what happened now i'm assuming the price is coming into this trend line again this upper trend line all right technically price obviously let me even say obviously price is in a triangle all right we could keep bouncing between this zone or break above or break below let's see let's just see how that goes now to the daily time frame uh with this bullish move to the upside i think price is coming into 1.08830 all right but going to the four hour time frame also i want you to observe the price i want you to take note that price is trading at a strong um resistance level on the four hour time frame though you can see this rejection here you can see this rejection here you can see this rejection here and here and now price is trading back there all right so what does that mean what does that tell you um i would like to see two things just like what i did on dxy i would like to either see price break above this zone then switch to a much lower time frame like the 15 minutes time frame wait for the pullback then trade into this target here which is once again 1.08830 all right that's what i'd like to see or price may decide to come for a pullback like this into this region 1.08058 before we take off to the upside because i am more bullish than bearish on euro dollar however my selling zone will be until price takes out this 1.07924 area break below it come back for a retest switch to a much lower time frame come back for a retest and then we trade into this target here which is 1.0741 one seven so those are my bullish and bearish scenarios on euro usd next on my list is gbp usd so gbp usd last week also i gave a bearish and bullish scenario my bearish scenario was surprised to retest this zone and sell off actually my target was here but remember you necessarily don't need to hold to your overall target because you're probably for me like for me i like two to ones three to ones and all of that right so i don't know what your target look maybe it's one to one two to one three to one also if even though you caught the sell trade you would have made that money even when price came back to this lowest point here before taking off all right so i gave a bearish and a bullish scenario now my bullish scenario was for price to break above this zone switch to a much lower time frame 
and then wait for the pullback to catch this trade all the way to the upside now if we go to the 15 minutes time frame would you have caught that bullish move if you followed instructions obviously yes i mean price broke above closed above switched to a much lower time frame catch a pullback look at this nice bullish engulfing candle to the upside and price pushed all the way to the upside correct let's go back to last week's video but you know i like to give bullish and bearish scenarios but if price breaks above all of these zones creating a new higher high then we want to catch the pullback from here to buy now we have a new higher high change of market structure right there right then our stop loss will be below then our target will be um maybe a decent two to one three to one so welcome back guys you can see the nice move to the upside however price just like euro usd is trading at a four hour resistance level you can see it has been tested multiple times don't get me wrong i'm expecting price I'm, i would like to see price come into 1.28 double five six but this guy is standing in the way and we need to be patient for it to be taken out right take it out switch to a much lower time frame like the 15 minutes time frame catch an entry around here then our target will be this zone here which is 1.28556 all right or price may decide to pull back if we go to a much lower time frame let's go to the 15 minutes time frame or price could decide to pull back into this area tap into this lower trend line that is coming all the way from the downside all right so tap into this trend line and then take off to the upside all right my bearish play on gbp usd will be for price to break below the 1.27.4 area break below it properly go back for a retest properly then trade all the way to the downside here with here being my target all right 1.27006 that will be my bearish target so guys take note of that so those are my bearish and bullish scenarios on jbp usd now on euro jpy i actually don't have much to say on euro jpy euro jpy if you look at the higher time frame it is super bullish super super bullish at the moment so there are no technical areas that i would like to see price pull back into yet before we continue bullish all right so we need to give it time to play out if i go to the four hour time frame price is beginning to stall around here so we need to give it time to play out price is stalling we may want to come for a pullback before we continue higher okay okay let me go to the 15 minutes time frame on euro jpy so on the 15 minutes time frame since on the four hour time frame i could see that we are stalling right if price can come into this zone break below if price can break below the 173.559 area then i would like to see a brief pullback guys don't get it twisted we are super bullish on this guy all right selling it is not even advisable all right but if you must trade for now with the stalling on the forward time frame uh i'd like to see price break below 173.559 area come back for a pullback then the short move on this 15 minutes time frame to this 172.393 area will be an ideal target why am i looking at it this way let's go back to the four hour time frame so if you notice for the towards the ending of last week price stalled around here so you see that we continue pushing to the upside which is which is what is most likely going to happen i mean we are in a complete bullish trend but if price decides that okay it's time to go for a pullback then i'd like to see price break below that 173.559 area that i pointed out on the 15 minutes time frame so break below it of course on the 15 minutes time frame you want to take advantage of this wait for a pullback then sell off to this next swing point that we can see before we probably take off to the upside or maybe price will just come for a deeper pullback before we take off to the upside but i'll come here week in week out to update us about the next line of action all right so that will be all for this week guys if you made it to the end of this video and you're yet to subscribe guys that's the only way you can support us and another way you can take your car your trading skill to the next level is to subscribe to our mentorship program then also make sure that 
you like this video share to like minds and i wish you a successful trading week and i'm going to see you in the next week and goodbye for now